I don't think we're going to solve this problem in weeks, if that's uh, what you mean. I think this is going to take some time. That was President Obama yesterday talking about military action in Iraq before heading to Martha's Vineyard for a working vacation. And we're back now with the roundtable. Matt Dowd, I was struck by something Peter Baker wrote in The New York Times this week, that Obama becomes the fourth president in a row to order military action in that graveyard of American ambition. Well, to me, this is the decisions that have made on previous presidencies, especially the presidency who I served with, President Bush, in 2002 and 2003, and our entree into Iraq. We're going to not only is President Obama going to be dealing with, but the next president's going to be dealing with it. This what this is to my view. If you broaden this, this is exactly what happens. We have a humanitarian crisis. We have a global crisis. Is when we don't align moral objectives with long-term strategic goals. It's the paradox of presidential leadership, where you have to not only be have idealism but realism. And we've had presidents in a row that basically had idealistic ideas. President Bush was very idealistic, but he de approached the global stage in the aftermath of this unrealistically. And I think President Obama dealt a bad hand, but has played it badly. We now have a presidential foreign policy that's not strategic, it's ad hoc. And it's in that president on a global stage, and we're the last superpower, doesn't work. Well, we're not acting like a superpower. That's the problem. And so, that, you know, I, I agree with Hillary Clinton, as you quoted her earlier, saying, uh, you know, if we had gotten into Syria, uh, when the rebels were begging us to come in and saying, here we are trying to uh, secure our freedom, where is America, uh, then we wouldn't have had this group fulfilling the vacuum. The, the president was very defensive about not getting a status of forces agreement, not having troops remain. And he basically said, oh, if they were there, they would just be right, run over more right. targets. But isn't the reason we did not know that ISIS right. was making such a rapid advance is because we didn't That's have right. people on the Absolutely. ground. They're not there to just walk around and show their <laughs> guns. And I would argue it may be time for someone to develop in the United States a policy that's bigger than going from country to country and treating them like they're small paradigms that are independent of one another. What is our global, or if not global, regional strategy? Is it to contain terrorism, al-Qaeda, and Islamic fundamentalists? Is it to beat it back to different areas? And how are we going to accomplish that? We don't have that strategy. We've never developed it. And there are people inside the government who believe we ought to have such a well, thing. And maybe it's... Elsie, I'm, 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 I'm going to go to you as a person who doesn't cover foreign policy, <laughs> but as a person who's watched. Mm -hmm. And has seen what happen, has, has happened this week and over the years in Iraq. What do you think? I think the more we have this conversation and the more that we don't say two words, religion and oil, the further away we get from the real problem. I think the, part of the reason why we don't have the same sort of influence in the Middle East that we all think that we should have is because we make so many decisions not based upon real humanitarian effort, but because it's in the best interest of America. And what's the best interest of America? Oil. We don't talk about that enough, and I think that's what well, the American people Because that's become see. much less just, just quickly. To, to, to me, no. this is what happens. What, if the history of our country, when done well, foreign policy done well, is we don't get overly involved in regional conflicts. We use regional conflicts. We are involvement in regional conflicts, it's temporary, not permanent, and we do it in a, in a strategic sense. The whole involvement in Iraq and Afghanistan and the wars that are involved have not been either strategic right. and they've not been temporary. One word answer: Does this consume the president for the rest of his term? Yes, I think so. That was three, but <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. thanks, everyone.